Yes. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. He's a, um, a jazz musician in the area. He does, I mean, he gigs every night, just about. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, a, a lot. I'll let him talk about who he is. Um, but I've talked to him about you, uh -huh. and I, you know yeah. just a little bit about him. So I'm going to let him talk about what all this is about. Okay. Uh -huh. So. Cool. Box <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Um, what it, what this is about is um, I have some horns that I uh, have the pleasure of owning and set up some ways to give people horns in order to help them develop as trumpet players. Uh, I like trumpet, and so I think everybody should play trumpet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, the, uh, the thing about it is we're trying to find students that are interested in playing in band throughout you know, their, their uh, educational process and to uh, also go back and play for kids who might have an interest in it and help them as well. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what the program basically is. And we're just here to interview you today to uh, see if this is a program that you'd like to be interested in. And maybe to hear you play and talk about your interest. You know, so um, tell me about you. What do you, what do you, do you, are you interested in playing in high school and marching band? Yes, yes I'm very interested in that, yeah. Oh, cool. How long have you been playing? Uh, since seventh grade. Oh, okay, yeah. good, 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 yeah. good. So, uh, do you play uh, all region and all that other stuff? In yeah, way? we do try out, like, uh, we tried out for our band. Yeah. And uh, later, like next Saturday, we're doing ninth grade regional, and uh, then uh, bump, uh, yeah, ninth grade regional, and I think that's about it. And UIO and all that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So you playing a solo for UIO and Aldo, huh? And uh, not, not for yet. UIO. Oh, what, what, what is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you gonna do solo this year as well? Solo contest, yes. Yeah. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So how many hours a day do you practice? Do you I mean, I try to practice at least like an hour a day, but it's not possible. Just try like getting some um, warm ups or uh, some foundations into it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you do do the warm ups and stuff. Yeah. The lip slurs and all of that kind yeah. of stuff. Right? Oh, great, great, great. How many scales do you can you play? I don't play uh, all my scales. My scales yeah. Really? Can you play me one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> It's not really a big deal. That's the whole point in, in doing it this way. I don't, I don't think you should have to go through a whole big hoop like that. It's just really, I'm just another trumpet player just like you. I started just like you starting. I didn't have a whole bunch. Of, I've never actually had a teacher. I mean, I never had that. And part of this is that, you know, you get to play with other people continually and to understand how playing trumpet helps you with other stuff. You know, like talking to people just like this, yeah. you know, no matter who it is, you know. And and uh, also to develop other skills, you know, that go along with playing trumpet. Because you can't play that instrument by yourself. Yeah. You know, I can't play it by myself. I don't know many trumpet players that just go out and do four hours worth of work and they just play trumpet by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then also, you know, you can play in church organizations and yeah. help you through high school. You know, a part-time job kind of a thing later. So that's part of, you know, what this program is really about. Giving you access to something, but you would have to own horn, your own horn kind of a thing. You know what I mean? Yes. Do, uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, how long have you played the trumpet? Uh, since, since, since sixth grade. Okay. My, in my junior high, when I went to junior high, we marched in seventh grade in full uniform. And we did four parades. So I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, but when I was in junior high, we did that. And my audition for the band was to play all the scales in 16th notes. That was my first year audition, only after being played a year. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty competitive, but it was fun because we knew that if you didn't get up to, you know, if you didn't like make the grade, you didn't get in. So, but I've been playing since the same amount of time you probably. Uh,
collectively for maybe 40 years. Yeah, now, now. I mean, you know, it appears why I quit for 10 yeah. years or whatever, but yeah. And I've gone to like four or five universities and studied. And I've, I've actually taken some lessons from guys in five different cities. Yeah, so, but uh, I still play. I still actively practice, and I still actively pursue my music. And I used to play in churches. When I was your age, in junior high, I played at the Catholic Church in my neighborhood for Mass, in junior high, so that long. But, um, uh, can, we, can you play me one more scale? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Who you listen to? Adam Rapper. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why do you like Adam? I uh, like. Uh, I heard him play a uh, uh, song of uh, I can't even pronounce the name, but uh, within Army Navy Blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard him play that. And, like uh, it was pretty long, but uh, I like I like the way he played. Oh, cool, yeah. cool, cool. That's very good. Not many junior high schools <laughs> just like yeah. Adam Rapper. <laughs> That's very good. That's very. Yeah. Good. That's very good. Um, so, what mouthpiece are you playing on? I uh, wanted to have seen. Cool, cool, cool. We've been cool. trying some different mouthpieces with him just to see what he likes and uh -huh. what fits best. And we're kind of in between a 3C yeah. and a one and a half. And I'm letting another one of our other students use the 3C right now. And I, I think he sounds great on both. To be honest with you, I got so, I got another 3C. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I just got one from the guy. I got the, some horns from. Yeah. I picked up two extra 3C. Oh, so I have one you can borrow. Yeah. And you, I mean, I can uh, with the we, one. Yeah, we've kind of been going back and forth and trading some, so. Then that'd be great, because then I'll send that with the horn, and you'll have it to, to try out with the oh. others. Yeah, cool, cool. If I were to give you the horn, why would I give you a horn? Uh, the reason why, to, uh, for, uh, for the, the way I like, I'm playing, like, uh, for me, uh, I listen to one of the strumpet players. I'm not sure his name, but I listen to him play some uh, new genre music, like the like uh, the uh, pop music, but then in you know, trumpet form. Yeah. But he recently passed away like a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And for me, like I feel like uh, even he like dedicated his life to the trumpet. So like I, I guess I just want to try like do kind of the same thing. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to me. me. Too, man. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. We'll let you know. He'll let you know what's going to happen. Yeah. We we're trying to some we 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 only have a few horns this year, so we. are we have to like make sure that you know what we're doing and stuff, and we're just interviewing a few people, and you you know you're one of maybe four or three people, so it's not like there's a big pool, but um, and we're gonna see what we can do, and uh, we'll let you know. Is that okay? Yes. I mean, I'm not promising you anything. I just wanted I wanted to get a chance to meet you. You meet me, so you'll know that a if you get the horn, you are required to study and try to have private lessons as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And you're required to practice for an hour a day. The only other requirement that I ask of you is that you play for other kids. Sometimes we have programs where we take trumpet people that we've given trumpets to and we go play at children's hospital on a Saturday or we go play for the homeless on Saturday and stuff like that. And if you would participate in those kind of programs, it would be great for the foundation. Because then we get money to buy other trumpets for others. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you could be in that as well. But the requirements is, the, well, once I give you the horn, it's your own horn, it's not mine. I, I ain't gonna be taking care of it. You ain't gonna be calling me to get it fixed or not. It's your thing. Is that cool? Yes. Are you cool with all that? Yeah. Cool. All there's, right. Well, well there's one other thing you need yeah. to tell them, too. Oh, good. Which, that's not, I don't see it being an issue with it. But the other, oh, yeah. The other part of it is you're, you're committing to stick with it until you graduate. Mm -hmm. Once you graduate, it's it's yours for life. If you quit before you graduate, you have to give it back. To this school. Right. So we can give it to the next person that needs it needs a horn. Are okay. you cool with that? And, yes. And I like I like I said I've no I mean, I've only been here since yeah. August. Yeah. But he's a stand up guy. Cool. Like I, I don't see that being an issue, but we just have to tell you. So, so.
You cool with that? Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much.